Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zeno, and today we are back to play some more Undertale. In last episode, we defeated Papyrus, well, quote-unquote defeated, because, you know, we never really fight anyone in Undertale, you know that. But, um, yeah, so I just woke up and I'm really, really tired. But, you know, I'm gonna record because I felt like it, so anyways, uh, let's see if we can buy any more items. We only have 84G, um, the bicycle, <laughs> we can eat a bicycle, okay, that makes sense. Um, you know what? No, we're not. We're just not gonna buy anything. Nope, not today. And so yeah, in this episode, we are going to go on that date with Papyrus that we promised him. So yeah, let's go ahead and try and find them. I will go ahead and cut to whenever we do find Papyrus. And so here we are at Papyrus's house. So let's go ahead and talk to him. So you came to have a date with little old me. You must be really serious about this. Ha! I'll have you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Alright, and where is he going to take us? Oh, okay. My house! <laughs> oh my god, I love this dude. <laughs> this is totally not sketchy, you know. <laughs> Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Alright, let's, let's, what's this? That's my room. If you're finished looking around... We could go in and do whatever people do when they date. <laughs> um, um, I really hope this isn't going to be like X-rated or anything. <laughs> okay. So, um, you've seen everything. Do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Yes. Okay. Dating start. Uh, dating start. <laughs> Here we are on our date. I've actually never, ever, ever done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hood. I feel like he's going to whisper this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that whenever he's doing that little stance right there. <laughs> Okay, oh. Wow, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two? Ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. R really? What? <laughs> okay, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You are in clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Uh, <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> oh my god, his eyes, his eyes, they trip me out. No, you planned it all? You're way better at dating than I am. N no, 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 you're dating power. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, I don't know. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never ever been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothing underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of my secret style, I? I love it. No! A genuine compliment. <laughs> His shirt says cool, dude. <laughs> I love it. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Alright, so we can inspect. Alright, let's inspect that. My hat? My hat. My hat! Uh, uh, what is that? Well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Is that spaghetti? <laughs> it is spaghetti! Oh my god! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. A silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Um, let's eat it. 
You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by ex and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we have defeated... Yep, we did. Amazing. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. <laughs> Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human eye. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> Romantically. I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me and that I was supposed to go on a date with you, then on the date, feelings would blossom forth and, you know, that I, I would be able to match your passion for me. But, you know, I mean... The Great Papyrus has failed, man. I, I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I only have drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. <laughs> a dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't feel anything at all. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't worry because I won't kiss you. Or don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because <laughs> I don't have any lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I love Papyrus. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime platonically well gotta go <laughs> all right sorry excuse me for a second sorry about that anyways so after the date we are just gonna go and do whatever i guess or move on with the game yeah let's just do let's let's do that <laughs> so all right so that was um that was interesting <laughs> uh i'm surprised no um no, like, news outlet has hopped their shit for this, like, th for the fact that you can, like, date a, or, like, that a human child can date a grown-ass skeleton man. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's jumped their shit for it yet. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell me my parents, I'm, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha. Okay, you look like you're from Monsters, Inc., and... The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Let's not save. Not right now. <laughs> what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? You know what? Let's go. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Alright. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey. Everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. <laughs> hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> oh my God, this guy. <laughs> here, get comfy. And the whoopee cushion again. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Alright, my bad. Sorry, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm a little sick, sorry. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or burger? Alright, uh let's I would Well, considering how hungry I am right now, I would probably get a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. Alright. Is that the lesser dog that I see? So, what do you think? Of my brother, cool or uncool? Let's let's say cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. <laughs> and by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> well, I've actually done that before, like whenever I was like really young, like I, I did that like once. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, sure, yeah. Bon appetit, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup falls in the bottle. In th all the ke the cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. There we go. Whoops. Yeah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Nope. 
okay. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, he woke up and s or she woke up and saw him still stand still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh still a work in progress. So are are we done here or Oh yeah, I want to ask you something. Okay, is it serious? Oh, oh, it is serious. Okay. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Uh yeah, dude, yeah. He's, he's kind of a dick. Um, so you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Alright, that stuff was just real for a minute there. Wow. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. From work for that long. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you float the bill? Or can you foot the bill? It's just 100 or 10,000 G. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Just kidding. Girl, be put it on my tab. All right. So, by the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> All right. So let's keep on chucking along here. God, we went so far down. Holy crap! So, anyways, uh, about what Papyrus said, uh, the flower that we encountered, Flowey, um. He didn't match up with his description of the Echo Flower, so I don't know. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming that we will find out soon. <laughs> Cause I mean, it's a game, so I mean, shit happens, you know. All right. And I like how uh, Sans' voice changed, like whenever he was like up close whispering. <laughs> oh, fuck off. All right. I really hope people don't think I'm like a G-rated YouTuber or anything because, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> to be honest. Alright, so, here's some dialogue. <laughs> Hi, Undyne, I'm here with my daily report. <laughs> uh, re regarding that human I called you about earlier, um, huh? Did, did I fight them? Y yeah, of course I did. <laughs> I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well... No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself, but Undyne, you, you don't have to destroy them, you see? Y you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay, so. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. So. Oh, fuck that. Wait, no, it's a blue spear, so we can just avoid it, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Alright, so. Is he going to go? Okay, I guess so. Alright, so, um. That was weird. <laughs> oh, there's a little yellow guy again. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? Oh, that's a she? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. No. She doesn't like me. <laughs> Hell no. Alright, so this is... Okay, so now this is where I stop playing on my first playthrough. So, I'm, so from everything out from here, I am 100% blind to. I have no clue what's going to happen. Just putting that out there. So, how are we supposed to... Oh. Okay. Alright, so we pick these up. And then, boom. 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 Yeah, we're good. 
Yeah, awesome. Oh, cool. They, 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 um, did their thing. They bloomed. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, an Aaron flexes in. <laughs> okay, uh, let's flex back. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. <laughs> oh my god, winky face. No, I feel violated. Alright. Not very hard attack to avoid. Is ready for your next flex. Alright, let's flex again, dude. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. Winky face. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Oh my god. No. Oh god, it's really strong. No, 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 no. Oh god, I lost so much health. Can I spare? No. Shoo. You tell Aaron to go away. You'll change your mind. Oh my god, I feel so violated. No. Alright. Oh, well, once you get... Okay. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay, let... You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> he flexes out of the room. That trips me out. Oh, those are... Wait, is this the Echo Mushroom? Yeah, that's it. That's it, right? I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, what's this? That's it? It doesn't do anything? Alright. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call the bridge seeds back to where they started. Oh, okay. So right there, right there. Okay, so... Oh, they gotta be in a full row, don't they? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh crap, that isn't a full row either. So... I'm confused. <laughs> Alright, let's just, let's try it anyways. So that's one. Two. Three. And can we just put another one right here? Four. So, no, that is a no. I cannot do that. Alright, so what do we do? Oh, they have the sign. Okay, let's just read the sign. Yeah. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you're you're a dick sign. Okay, so I think I think I figured it out. Yeah, you just do this, and then you can go on the platform that's right here. And yeah, okay, yeah. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequ sequentially until I got yours. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What will you say? Yes, I am. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh my god. He vocally said wink, wink. Wishing room. Alright. Come on, sis. Make a wish. Oh, oh those are the echo flowers. Alright, so, wa, wash, washua? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, washua, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's clean him. You ask washua to clean you, and it hops around excitedly. Tweet. <laughs> Green means clean. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, that's nice. It's friends with a little bird. Uh, let's, let's clean again. Because I actually do need some help. I just died! <laughs> Amazing! Awesome! That's that's wonderful. That's great. Don't lose hope. Daniel, stay determined. Okay. This is the fourth time I've died in this whole game. Please don't tell me that I have to go do all that dating shit again. I really don't want to. Oh no. I think I have to. Do I? Oh, I do. Alright, I'll just... I'll cut back whenever I finish this again. Okay, that was a bitch and a half to get through, but anyways, we are back, and we are finally at the end of this shit, so, yeah, let's go ahead and go. And I just realized how much of a bitch that's gonna be to edit. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, okay, 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 Alright, good, we can... Smells like detergent. Okay, good, we can spare, finally. And we can finally move on. Alright. So, oh. That... 
<laughs> that was completely unintentional, but okay. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Okay. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Alright. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist to persist outside the human body even after death. Oh. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Well, yeah, basically they want to kill us for our soul. Oh, so so they want to kill us so bad because I am a child human and child humans must not be very strong. Okay, that makes sense now. Alright, gotcha. Oh, here's Undyne. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, ow! Stop! Oh, what? Oh, God. What do I do? Oh, I have to... Okay. Oh, my God, no. No, no, uh, no. I really hope I don't... I really hope I'm meant to die or something, because this is actually stressing me out. Oh, no, no. Let's not... Let's not... Crap, I can't even pause either. Oh, but I can predict where they go, <laughs> and I'm bad at it. No, <laughs> no, oh, no, go, 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 go. All right, Frisk, come on, let's go. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, Frisk. Let no, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, that 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 was legit scary. No, 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 no. Oh, it caught the yellow dude. What? What? All right, let's. Did he like save us intentionally? There. Were... Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I've never washing my face again. Man, are you lucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't. Uh, okay, if I skipped over that accidentally. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was Squidward for a second. I'm not even gonna lie. All right. So this cheese has been here so long. A magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. All right. Let's keep on going. Oh, there's Sands again. Hey, what's up, man? I'm thinking about getting the into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. Oh, thanks, man. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yes. Okay, so... We don't see anything. Okay, that's totally not worth 50,000 G, but alright. What what's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? <laughs> no, I mean... Uh, oh, what the fuck? It gave me pink eye. Aw, oh, Sans, come on, you didn't. Huh? You weren't satisfied? Don't worry. It'll, it'll give you a full refund. <laughs> okay, so we got a pink... Oh, it's gone now, okay. And I'm guessing this guy's selling some stuff. I really created my store, but there are still no customers. Alright. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punching cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Let's do it. Alright, super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Alright. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Huh. Alright. Hey, nice Microsoft points down there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright, so... Oh, a duck. A little duck. Okay, so what do we do? 
Let's just go down here again. Oh, cool! You could go to the next screen. I didn't. I didn't realize that. All right. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Uh, no. All right. Let's keep on going and going. And let's see. Oh, oh, a mold small. Oh, we can spare them. Cool. All right. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Let's take it. You got the ballet shoes. Alright, so can we equip them or no? Let's use... You equipped ballet shoes. Okay, that's that's it. No no other dialogue. Okay. Um, let's get on here. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... Murdery, but I bet you knew that already, and because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bit. Aw, oh, he told on Dine, didn't he? Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Dude, he. Oh my god, Papyrus, you're dumb. He just told Undyne what we're wearing, and she wants to kill us. Oh my! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh no! What's that? What's, oh! 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 Stop! No! Okay. Uh, yeah. No! Stop! No! Stop! Right, do we spare? Okay. Good. Okay. Let's spare. God, that that was that was that would have been really bad. Holy crap! I would have died twice this episode. Wow. Oh, what's this? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. All right. I'd like to hear more about. What is that? <laughs> what is that? What? What is going on? Ew, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? <laughs> yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. God, this thing is so weird. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Oh, so he doesn't have any friends? Okay. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live on the ocean, you hear? <laughs> oh my god. I feel bad, but I'm... Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall... <laughs> what? I don't even know what that was. Wow. Alright, so... <laughs> Alright, let's let's spare. Alright, nice job. Oh wait, there's more history. But anyways, um I'm gonna find a save point and I'm gonna end it off here. What is this? Oh no. But um yeah, I'm gonna try and find a save point and quit. Because we have been going on for pretty long this episode. Like like a pretty long time. <laughs> it's a statue. The stru the structures at its feet seem dry. Alright. Ew, umbrellas. Take an umbrella? Let's take one. You took an umbrella. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay, so we did need one. Alright. And there's that weird dude again. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Alright. So, you look like a Helioptile from the Pokemon games. You know that, right? Okay. I don't even know what this dude's name is, to be honest. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night, you know, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> Alright. I don't really know what to say because there's not really that much to say, you know. 
Oh, so one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Okay, he's obsessed with this woman. <laughs> um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Except for me, but you know, whatever. Uh. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. That's This kind of reminds me of that one stage in uh, Yoshi's Island, I think it is, where you had to fight Bowser Jr., and he, like, stood out, like, in the background just like this. It was, it was really a terrifying boss fight, in my opinion. I think it's Yoshi's Island. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, cool. How about you take one, man? Here. Look, get one. Go. Return the umbrella? No, let's not. Okay, so... Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Okay, so, yo, you want to see, uh, I don't know what he said. Put up a, put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Okay. Alright, so let's climb on this man's shoulders and let's go. So, yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll always find a way to get through. Oop, yeah, totally. Alright, so let's keep going. And there's a save point. So, today in this episode of Undertale, we did a lot of stuff. Wow. Uh, we. First, we got the date over with the virus. Then, we moved on and we had a talk with Sans at the bar, or whatever that's supposed to mean. And then, Undyne wanted to kill us, and she almost did. And I almost died. So, <laughs> yeah. So, today's episode was pretty eventful. Uh, I don't know. I still don't know who that yellow guy is, but I guess we'll find out soon. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Undertale and. Yeah, the reason I just went quiet is because somebody came in and it was pretty awkward because I had to explain what I was doing and it was pretty, pretty awkward. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. My name is Eno and I'm out.